The Democratic Alliance says the nomination of Bushi Maape as Premier Designate of the Northwest Province is not in the best interests of the people. Yesterday, supporters of outgoing Premier Job Mohoro protested his ousting by burning tires and threatening to shut down the province. While Mohoro's resignation has not yet been tendered, the situation there uh, remains fluid. Let's get you some analysis now with the DA's Northwest Chief Whip, Freddie Sonakile, who joins us via our video link. Freddie, it does feel a bit like uh, musical chairs when it comes to this position. And the other issue is that the fact that there is still an interim provincial executive in that province, what does Bushi Mahape's uh, uh, appointment mean now when the ANC's provincial task team is still going to an elective conference in December? Yeah, good morning, Michelle, and good morning to the viewers. I have to say this is a most um, confusing period for the Northwest residents and Northwest um, political parties as well as the ANC itself. Because like, like you have just indicated, um, the ANC has indicated through the very same interim committee that later this year they will be going to a provincial conference. And this interim provincial committee of the ANC, the main aim for it to be there was to ensure that it built branches and takes the province to conference so that they can have a new leadership. Now here they are, they are coming introducing a new premier designate in the form of Ndate Bushimape and saying that he will be taking over from Ndate Mohoro because Ndate Mohoro has failed. So it makes you wonder, especially as the political party represented in the legislature there, where we have to go and sit and vote for the new premier, that we, are they going to do the same? towards the end of um, the year. Are they going to be introducing another person because they would have felt that um, they don't want two centers of power. So whoever would come out of that as the chairperson of the ANC after the conference, are we going to be hearing that now they're going to be introducing them as the premier? It's what we need to look out for, you know, but it's very interesting times. So, I mean, at best, this appointment of Bushimape is temporary. It seems so. It seems so. It seems it's temporary. And it's also, like I said earlier, it's very confusing. Because remember, they are accusing Job Mohoro of certain things. Amongst those things is that he has been defying the IPC, um, he has not been following the party mandate and all that. But what one needs to now ask, and this is not what they are not telling the people of South Africa, is that Bushima Ape has not been lost in the picture. Bushima Ape, in 2018, when Job Mohoro came in, he became one of the advisors to Job Mohoro, political advisor. I think till recent days, your January or so, when Craig started to show between before their relationship with Job Mohoro. So one can say some of the decisions that Mohoro is being accused of, Bushima Pe was there next to him, hand in hand, uh, as part and parcel of those decisions. Unless, of course, they say that Bushima Pe was only advising Job Mohoro so that he can have the position for himself. So it's very interesting times and it's confusing. But it seems temporary again. And, 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 you know, at the end of the day, uh, the issue is that whoever assumes the position of premier, that person usually comes with, you know, their own set of ideas, perhaps their own people that they'd like to be, bring in for particular positions. I'm thinking of the position of the Cocteau MEC in the province. Mm. Uh, as far as I can understand, that position has changed hands no less than six times since 2018. That's mm. when Job Mohoro was appointed. Yes. It just goes to show that the ANC Northwest has no plan. It shows that there's no even succession plan, for even from their very same deployees. Today, one uh, premier can come in, change cabinet, whoever takes a certain position, like you have given an example with Kokta. A Kokta in the province, on 2018, when um, the Supramas fall thing started, when, uh, when former premier Supra went out, John Mohawa came in, and by then Motalepule Khosho became the MEC of Kokta. She came with her own ideas, she introduced Section 139, 1Bs, and placed a number of municipalities under administration and gave reasons for that. After the 2019 elections, general elections, John Mohawa now made this change and now uh, Gordon Kehakile became the new MEC, may his soul rest in peace. Then Gordon Kehakile changed his type of leadership. He also had this new idea of a database of administrators who will go to municipalities to bring changes. But nobody knew where these administrators came from. Nobody knew the process of application that they have to undergo or even whether they apply. And most of them were people that were recycled. Then when he died, 
They introduced an acting MEC in the form of Bitumelo Milwa. She tried to continue with what Godwin Kekaikiwe did, but it was very, for a very short period, I think a month or two. Then that is when Moloki Twaize came in. He came in very um, energetic and with very radical ideas. And he was really pushing for SIUs and NPA and even the Hawks to come in and now get into municipalities and heads to start rolling. And that did not sit well with a number of the year employees in those municipalities, whom some of them sit in the very same IPC that is making these changes. Then we saw the fight between the Premier Mokoro and MEC Twahide in the past week, whereby there was, I fired you, you had, I know I resigned, and all that fight. Then all of a sudden, Twahide resigned. Then they introduced Desbo Mohono as an acting MEC. We had a huge fight with that because we still believe Desbo Mohono must still be charged for what she has done and all the issues that she's having at her own department at agriculture. Then, boom, uh, Premier Mohono suddenly introduced Lena Micha as the new MEC. So now we are sitting with Lena Micha. We are wondering if Bushima is also going to bring his new cabinet or what's going to happen. But we have to say on our part as the oppositions, we are not going to support Bushima Abe. We won't be supporting it. We won't be voting with the ANC to support him. I mean, this constant change in leadership positions, it obviously must have an impact on governance in the province. It must have an impact on service delivery as well. If you look at page two of the Sowetan this morning, it's leading with the story uh, around the Clover Factory. Now, this is something that we've been covering for some weeks now, the move of the Clover Factory, which is based in the northwest, to KZN province. It's, of course, a big driver of job creation in the northwest province. How much of this kind of back and forth insofar as governance is concerned has led to this decision now gathering steam? I mean, the northwest province clearly not doing enough to convince Clover to keep its business there. Yeah, all this back and forth clearly show that the ANC is mainly focused on its internal affairs. It does not care about governance. If you come to the Northwest, driving through from the Porches through, coming Flagstaff, Harte Bies, it's the same situation all over. The province is riddled with potholes. There's no engagement from the relevant department with business people. That is why you see, even in towns such as Kostek, you have communities having gathered and created sort of unions or groups, community groups, and have taken the department as well as the provincial government to court, whereby they want the powers that government has of delivering services unto themselves so that they can deliver for themselves because clearly government has failed them. Instead of them to be doing what they're supposed to be doing, if you look at Job Mohoro's um, state of the province addresses for the past two or three years, he made a number of pronouncements. And every time he came to appear before the portfolio committee, we'd ask uh, the relevant departments and even himself to say, you said one, two, three, four are your priorities. How far are you? How far along are you with all this? And the response is always that I'm getting resistance either from the MECs that are supposed to implement this. If it is not the MECs, it is the administrators of the Section 100 from National that has been sent to the province to come and assist. Because they are also here, they also have executive power. Powers. So it's a three-tier uh, power battle, whereby the ANC IPC is on the left, Job Mohara and his MECs are on the right. Then you have on top here the Section 100 administration. So it's a three-tier battle that has been going on since 2018, where with power, uh, power struggles coming out very strongly, and the people of the Northwest, in all this, they are nowhere to be found. Even this new introduction of Bushima, they're still not considered. It's not about them. It's about who is in power in the ANC and who now has to get his hands in the cookie jar. Freddy Sonakile is the DA's chief whip in the Northwest Provincial Legislature, giving us some analysis there as an opposition uh, in the province on the situation in that province. Uh, the Premier-elect, Bushi Mahape, uh, this appointment taking place in the midst of Job Mukhoro, yet, as far as we understand it, yet to resign. Plenty of repercussions for the people of the Northwest insofar as service delivery and governance is concerned. Freddy, thanks very much for your time this morning.